Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's tutorial, we are looking at the essential tools, otherwise known as essentials, and more specifically at the landscape tool. Now the sliders in landscape tool are designed specifically to enhance landscape photos. However, they are really cool for other photography styles like portraits, real estate, travel, or wildlife. So now we're going to go through each of the slider in the landscape tool. And I think to make it a little bit more fun, we will always bring a picture with us to show you the example of what the each slider do. Starting right here with this image, we're going to start with the Dehay slider. And let's look at what the slider does. So this slider applies the perfect blend of contrast, clarity and color adjustments to eliminate the effects of fog and haze. Now they are often found in cityscapes, landscape and areal photos. It's also really, really helpful when you're editing photos, shoot through the glass. If you ever shot a um, picture through the glass, you also get a little bit of a haze there. And this slider can be really helpful with it. So let's have a look at this image. As you can see, there is a mixture of haze and fog. And let's see how the slider do. Now, once again, as always in my tutorials, I really want you to take the sliders and push them all the way. There is no point of doing it a little bit because you will not be able to see the effect. So we're going to really push it and we're going to see what the slider do. So as you can see, it removed some of the haze from the foreground of the image. But what it also did, it actually made the picture much darker. Now, the darkening isn't a big deal that can be fixed in develop uh, module or develop tool. However, uh, when it comes to haze, it did pretty good job at this part of the image. Now, let's slide it all the way back and let's just slide through to see what it does. So as you can see, it's doing a really good job at removing it right here. And then when you keep pushing, it's removing more and more of it. I think it's more visible when we click on this little eye, as you can see the before and after. So before with lots of haze and fog, after with some of it removed. Now uh, to reset any slider, all you need to do is to double click on the name of the tool and slider, and it just resets to zero or to the original value. So the next slider we're going to be looking at is called golden hour. But for that, we need to go into the catalog and we will grab this image right here. Back to edit module, once again looking at the essentials and landscape tool. Now we're going to be looking at the golden hour slider. So all you have to do is to use this slider to bring warmth, softness and golden glow to all of your photos. Simply dial the amount and get warm tones and introduce more overall color vibrancy. Let me show you. Once again, we're pushing the slider. So let's bring it all the way. And now I know this is over the top, but you can clearly see the effect I'm trying to describe. You can see the vibrancy, you can see the softness, warmth, and you can see the golden glow at this area right here. Now, anytime I use the golden hour slider, I like to stay in the first half or maybe sometimes even in the first third to really just add very gentle touch of the golden hour. But it all really depends on if you're using JPEG, RAW file or any other format to see how much you need to add. But I still think it's very, very cool because it adds quite few effects at the same time. And that way you don't have to repeat it in other tools. And you can just jump into the landscape tool and use the golden hour slider to introduce all of this beautiful sunset or golden hour warmth. So that's that with the golden hour slider. And now we're going to be looking at the foliage enhancer. So once again, we need another image. So we go to the catalog. And for that, we're going to use this image right here. So let's click on edit. 
And let's just have a look what we got here. It's this beautiful tree tunnel with lots of lots of green here. So it's ideal for using the foliage enhancer in our landscape tool. So the third slider right here, let's just have a look what it does. This slider automatically enhances the color of foliage and greenery, making them more vivid and natural. It's a good choice for nature and lush landscape photography. So let's again push it all the way. Now again, this is way over the top and it really depends on the type of the file you're using. JPEG will behave differently, a RAW file will behave differently. But it's true that when I use the foliage enhancer, I again really like to stay only around 15 or 20. So let's just do something gentle to this degree. And by doing that, you can see how it really nicely pushes the green and foliage and make it a little bit more vivid compared to what it was before. The slider number four is actually hiding inside of the advanced settings. And all you need to do to see it is to click on this little arrow. And now let's have a look at the slider. It's called Foliage Hue. Now, what does the Foliage Hue? This slider modifies the hue of the foliage effect created by the foliage enhancer. Now, it's useful to achieve the right amount of green. Now, as it is connected, if I bring the foliage enhancer down to zero, you can see that the slider actually grayed out, so you can use it. And that's because it's connected together. So if I bring the foliage enhancer to somewhere around 15, now I can go into the hue and really push it around and see the effect. So you could push it somewhere around here and actually make the result look quite natural. You can then come back to the enhancer, play around with it and see how you can get the best result. Or you can go really crazy, push the enhancer to somewhere around 60 and then bring the foliage hue all the way down and create something completely out of the box. So for example, those yellow trees looking really cool and it's something a little bit different. So there you have it with the landscape tools, the dehaze removing fog and haze, the golden hour creating beautiful golden hour effect and the foliage enhancer and foliage hue working together in tandem to create something special or to improve your foliage and also your greenery. So you stayed until the end. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.